If you thought fasting was only for religious purposes, then you have been missing out. Intermittent fasting is an umbrella term for an array of eating patterns that cycle between eating and fasting. Nowadays, intermittent fasting is growing significantly in popularity among individuals who want to improve their overall well-being and shed excess weight. In fact, it has become a popular health and fitness trend. If you're ready to dive into the fasting world but don't know where to begin, there are a few introduction methods that are a great place to get started. Welcome back to the Good Health Gorilla. In today's video, we will be going over the 14-10 and 18-6 methods to answer the question, which one is better to do? If you are brand new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below, letting us know what other topics you would want for us to cover on this channel. We are always eager to hear your suggestions and hope that the general advice we provide today will help you reach your weight loss goals. The 14-10 method. The 14-10 is a form of intermittent fasting methods where one fasts for 14 hours and eats for 10 hours. When it comes to 14-10 intermittent fasting, you are free to consume whatever you like during the eating window. The best thing about intermittent fasting is that you can adjust it to better suit your needs. Therefore, when practicing the 14-10 intermittent fasting method, you are free to choose your fasting and eating periods. When a well-balanced diet follows 14-10 intermittent fasting, it tends to enhance weight loss. When you enter the 14 hours fasting period, your body will not have any calories, and as a result, there will be no glucose to burn for energy production. It is during this stage that ketosis kicks in, and during ketosis, the body uses ketone bodies as a source of energy to feed the brain and other vital bodily functions, maximizing the effects. At times, weight loss is not determined by what you consume, but by things you should avoid. If you have been struggling with weight loss for a while, you know that certain types of foods lead to weight gain within a short period. Therefore, for 1410 to be effective, you will need to avoid the two following things. Saturated and trans fats. These fats are often considered as bad fats. They are known to cause harm to the body, and they should be avoided during fasting. For effective results, consider substituting these bad fats with healthy fats. Saturated fats are often referred to as solid fats, since they are solid state when stored at room temperature. Trans fats, on the other hand, are manufactured and are often used in fast foods since they are relatively affordable and can be stored for an extended period. Refined carbohydrates. Each and every nutrient is vital for the functionality of the body, and carbohydrates are no different. They are known to offer the body energy that supports all critical processes along with performing physical activities. Highly refined carbohydrates can cause harm to the body, and it is often associated with obesity, along with cardiovascular diseases, osteoarthritis, asthma, type 2 diabetes, to name a few. It is due to this that you should avoid the use of refined carbs while fasting. Behind the Science Unlike most intermittent fasting methods, relatively few studies have been used in the 1410 method. One study carried out in 2017 involving overweight adults who practiced the 1410 intermittent fasting method lost more weight as opposed to those with longer eating windows. A different study shows that 1410 will aid in reducing total calorie intake by approximately 20 percent. The 18-6 method. 18-6 is a form of intermittent fasting that involves eating within a six-hour window period and fasting for 18 hours. With an 18-6 intermittent fasting method, you can choose to skip breakfast and start your eating period later during the day, like at 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. You may also consider eating earlier in the day, such as 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Unlike the 14-10 intermittent fasting method, the 18-6 intermittent fasting method does not have a set of guidelines on how often one should perform this fast. This means that when practicing the 18-6 method, you can decide to repeat this particular cycle as often as you would like. Additionally, it is vital to note that you should always consult your doctor when implementing a new diet plan. The 18-6 intermittent fasting method features an extended period of fasting, and despite the fact that it can be very beneficial when it comes to burning fat as well as boosting your metabolism, you should consider trying out other fasting methods before trying it out. Most individuals who practice the 18-6 method have already tried the short-term intermittent fasting methods. Therefore, if you're not familiar with intermittent fasting, it is highly advisable to try short-term intermittent fasting before advancing to 18-6 intermittent fasting. However, this should not prevent you from trying it out, even if you are a newbie. Maximizing the effects. Although the 18-6 intermittent fasting method is effective when it comes to improving your overall well-being and getting rid of excess weight, the type of food you consume also has an impact on the result. Therefore, understanding things to do and avoid while practicing the 18-6 intermittent fasting is highly essential. Here are things to do and avoid during intermittent fasting. Fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are rich sources of vitamins and minerals. 
Therefore, increasing the intake of fruits and vegetables during your eating period will boost your immunity and help you maintain healthy body weight. Whole grains. Whole grains, also known as complex carbs, are rich in dietary fiber. Dietary fiber is responsible for regulating blood sugar levels and weight. This means that sufficient intake of dietary fiber will aid in preventing weight gain and maintain healthy blood sugar levels during and after the fasting period. Healthy fats, avocados, olive oil, and coconut oil are some of the healthy fats you should consider using. These fats are known to be free from trans fats and will protect your heart against cardiovascular illnesses. Behind the Science 18-6 intermittent fasting is ideal for weight loss, with several scientific studies backing up this claim. And although the scientific studies on humans are limited, there are studies in animals that have shown 18-6 intermittent fasting enhances longevity. Now, there are several pros of practicing the 14-10 method. Number one, it improves general well-being. Like most intermittent fasting methods, the 14-10 intermittent fasting method promotes and improves general body compositions, lowers the risk of developing cardiovascular illnesses, and improves brain function as well. Number two, counting calories is not required. When practicing 14-10 intermittent fasting, you do not have to keep count of your calorie intake, thus makes the whole process less tiresome and more fun. Number three, no macronutrient limitations. You are not barred from consuming any macronutrient. This means that you are free to consume anything you want during your eating window. However, for an effective result, you should always consider adhering to the tips discussed earlier. Although the 1410 method is beneficial for improving your overall well-being, it also features a few downfalls. Number one, reduced physical activity. As a newbie, you will likely experience reduced physical activity when starting out. Number two, hunger. You may also experience severe hunger and this can be uncomfortable among the newbies. Number three, it may lead to overeating. All types of intermittent fasting are associated with overeating during the eating period and the 1410 method is no different. Just like the 1410, there are several pros when practicing 18-6. Number one, it enhances weight loss. 18-6 intermittent fasting will not only cut down your calorie intake during the day, but also aids in enhancing weight loss and improving metabolism. Number two, it improves glucose control. Like other forms of intermittent fasting, 18-6 intermittent fasting is known to improve blood sugar control. Number three, there are no eating restrictions. Although you are free to consume anything while practicing 18-6 intermittent fasting, you should consider adhering to the tips discussed before. Just like the 14-10, there are a few downsides to be aware of with the 18-6 method. Number one, it should not be practiced for long. Practicing 18-6 for an extended period can result in some severe side effects when you're a beginner. Number two, it involves an extended period of fasting. Since the period of fasting is longer, it may not be as sustainable if this is your first time fasting. Which should you choose? Both 14-10 and 18-6 intermittent fasting methods are very effective when done correctly. The two forms of intermittent fasting are known for improving your overall well-being and are ideal for getting rid of excess weight with the utmost ease. However, the 14-10 method is without a doubt the easiest form of intermittent fasting to follow over 18-6. This is because it has a relatively short fasting period and long eating window. Since the 18-6 intermittent fasting method involves an extended period of fasting, it is best used during the weekends or your free days. The 14-10 method can be practiced by anyone who would like to start intermittent fasting and it can be performed at any time. So, there you have it. Intermittent fasting has been popular for some time now and for good reason. There are plenty of options to choose from as a beginner and the methods presented in this video will get you started on the right path. In time, you can move up to more restricted protocols such as alternate day fasting or the warrior diet if you so choose to. Where did you first hear about intermittent fasting? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed today's video, check out this related video to see more. Until next time.